yes of course baliwanika ba, ba, baliwanika right away and of course unveiling to you this 21st of december 2019 just only 10 days to next year i'm very excited about this one yeah it's not just about being excited but like the question is what have you prepared this year like how how uh, what are the benefited this year that is the question it's not just about celebrating every new year that comes around yeah and of course my name is mc rixel rixel mc welcome to the what's on show w a t s o n always when it reaches to saturday from 9 to 10 is always the what's on show i want to say big up on yourself everybody who is tuning from all places you're doing such a great job yeah and of course i also want to thank all the teenagers who are home for holidays every youth out there yeah, guys who have traveled like up country, you guys are really having a lot of fun. Yeah, even guys who are within the city, yeah, they normally say Christmas is everywhere, it does not matter where you are, but depends how you celebrate. Yeah, and of course, I, I just want to say one more time that I'm working with a big team here in the country. I have Israel, I have Joffy out there, I have Ronnie, uh, they'll be coming through. Yeah, and of course, uh, I want to say big up on yourself, uh, my PD, that is Baxter. Yeah, Baxter, big up on yourself, my brother. And of course, hope mob guys are tuning on. I can't just mention everything, but of course, if you know you're tuned from wherever you're tuned from, just know that I, I, I just love what you're doing right there. Yeah. And of course, one more time, I want to say like it's been a long week. I should say that. Yeah, we're here last Saturday and today I'm alone. Uh, Florence Dream happened to travel. Yeah. But of course, she, she'll, be, she'll be joining back here. And of course, you know, this festival festive festive fever yeah people have to move up and down like that but she'll be back right there and of course uh, i i also want to say like uh still my brother patrick because you, you also had to travel yeah uh, big upon yourself for funny henry i know you guys are tuned through like a uh, track official i know you're tuned right there and of course team festive that is our whatsapp team team festive you guys are tuned out there and yesterday was razzle dazzle yeah razzle dazzle dinner that was an experience of irene nawiru's dinner was happening at sheraton i want to say big up on yourself fakima i'm sorry i could not make it through because of some reasons but i just believe you guys had a lot of fun yeah and then I, I also want to say like uh, however much that happened of course a lot has been training this week and of course we can't bring you each and everything that has been taking place because uh Queen was there, like, uh, bringing you all that, yeah. Today, I decided to plug on uh, African wear just because of some reasons, yeah. These days, I, I think I'm changing my dressing code, yeah. Like, uh, I just decided to be, well, looking just so, so, so decent, yeah. And, of course, you know, this is the, the season. We should show respect. We should be decent. We should be so, so careful. A lot of accidents are happening. You guys have to be careful about that one there. Otherwise, you find yourself in shit, yeah? Just like I said last time, uh, this festive season should not end you in jail, yeah? Or oh, should not end you in a hospital. Or should not end you somewhere you did not want. It's really, really so bad. Just make sure you do the right things in the right place with the right people at the right time, yeah? Yeah, that's what they always say, yeah. And of course, um, I also want to say that uh, within this week, uh, I just want to just to give a mention about that. I'm not going to go in details because Speak Uganda is always there to bring you all that. But guys who have been following American politics, uh, Donald Trump happened to be impeached or, or like within this week, yeah. Uh, some, somebody out there might be asking what really took place, what really took place, yeah. Uh, I would just recommend you to Wanuna Wali, that is our Lugana bulletin that always happens uh, every Monday to Saturday from 6.30, I mean from 6 to 6.45, yeah. And then of course, uh, Speak Uganda will come on the English version uh, from uh, 8.30. 8 to 8 30 yeah and of course i also want to say uh record fm together with record tv is very proud to bring to you moses and the ten commandments that is a super biblical sub that has been running through yeah it, it, it at the end of the day you get inspired educated and guided into the positive line so just make sure you catch moses and the ten commandments Always coming to your screen every Monday to Friday from 9 to 10, immediately after Speak Uganda. 
and they repeat in the Luganda version from three to four the same days. Yeah. And uh, starting right away, a lot of people have been celebrating their birthday this week. And I just want to say, you guys, you really make it. You guys who are born in December, you're superheroes. Yeah. You're born when the year was getting done. Then, of course, you, you're being unveiled now to the new year when you're still young. Yeah. And uh, I, I want to start by saying, uh, Irene, Irene Aguti, uh, Sister Irene Aguti, you celebrated your birthday. That was uh, on, on Wednesday, yeah. It was really so massive. Yeah, I came through and I ate the cake. The cake was sweet. And of course, uh, also some other guys celebrating their birthdays within this week. That is Irene. She works with MTN Uganda. Big up on yourself, my sister. I don't know how many years you're really making you refuse to tell us, but it's okay. I will not stop to, to wish you a happy, 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 happy birthday, yeah. And of course, too, if you're also celebrating your birthday any day of the week, uh, come Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Sunday, any day, please just make sure you get in touch with my Facebook handle, that is Richel MC, or Record TV Uganda, that is on Facebook. And uh, on Twitter at Richel MC, that is mine. Uh, you can get in touch, or you can you, you drop us your pics, your car simple biography, and we come and wish you a happy birthday live on the screen. Yeah, that is Irene Aguti out there celebrating her birthday. But guess what? If you're celebrating your birthday today, just know you're celebrating with this super doper. Actor. This is a celebrated movie actor. He's a black guy. He always acts bad scenes like he's a bad guy. You get like he's a no nonsense guy. I'm talking about Samuel Jackson. Yeah. If you're celebrating your birthday today, and of course, just know you're celebrating with Samuel Jackson, the guy you're seeing on your screen out there. Samuel Jackson was born in December 21st, 1948. Today he's making 72 years. Oh my God. He's from Washington, D.C., resident of California. He's an American, yeah? And of course, he's a movie actor. From 1972, he's been acting up to date, yeah? And of course, uh, his prose is called Latanya Richardson. That is his wife. He has only one kid. And uh, that Richardson there, uh, uh, sorry, that uh, Samuel Jackson has acted in several movies talk about avengers who didn't watch avengers this guy was in that very movie then there is this latest movie of his called shot it is a very nice movie you should catch it out if you want to know like who i'm really talking about i'm talking about um Samuel L. Jackson, he acted The Cell. The Cell was there on that movie out there. He has acted on The Shaft, just like I was telling you. Those are some of the movies he has acted in. He has acted in Fast and Furious. You also saw there, he had scenes there, was a bad guy with one eye closed. He acted as meeting, in Meeting Evil, yeah. He also acted out there. And uh, the Hitman's Bodyguard, yeah. That very Samuel L. Jackson was still there, Avengers. And a lot of movies, guys. So uh, if you just want to know a lot about this guy here, just go and look for his movies. He's a very good black actor. So you never know tomorrow, you might also be an actor or a great celebrated actor or any celebrity other or any great prominent person, yeah? So that's how we normally bring you the guys, the stars you, you celebrate your birthdays with then. Uh, this one, I'm just going to jump in tomorrow. I had a friend called Memory. Memory is celebrating her birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Memory. Though you're very far in Lira, but you told me today I must stream your show. And of course, you can also go on our Facebook page. We're streaming live or on our website, www.ricotvugana network. Yeah, you can get what is taking place. Watch your favorite shows always Monday to Monday. Yeah, that is what I had for the guys who are celebrating their birthdays. Happy birthday to you guys. I love you so much. May you blow a thousand and million candles. Yeah. And then uh, leaving alone that, uh, I want to move straight away to the fashion. Now, today I decided to bring you guys the fashion that is suitable for this festive season. According to the What's On, we tried to collect for you and to compile for you the fashion that is suitable, at least uh, appropriately, you can put on on this festive season. It doesn't matter which day, either Christmas or a day after Christmas, either first, as long as it's still on this season, yeah. So on my fashion, I decided to bring on dresses, 
um, I decided to bring on uh, uh, like uh, 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 cults. I decided to bring on African wares. A lot of guys just like uh, is seeing like uh, always. Being smart doesn't mean you have to put on complicated things, but putting on easy things also can make you smart, yeah? Now you can look at that lady. She decided to put on something so long, but she was really looking dull. I normally tell people, uh, you might uh, scratch your head so, so much, you'll be like, how best can I be smart? But there's, there are just easy ways you can make yourself look dull, just in a very, very easy way. Yeah, it does not matter where, how, when, but it, it's all about what are you putting on. Are you putting on uh, the, the colors that match you, first of all? Yeah, there is saying, uh, this is my favorite color, this is my favorite color. But, of course, you also have to consider, like, what about you yourself? Is yourself in shape to put on such a color, yeah? Yeah, then, of course, uh, as you're seeing, uh, uh, a lot of pictures are drawing through. Like, that is some of the fashion you can actually plug on on these days. That is a nice African wear with a nice African bag still. Look at that nigga there. That is really a nice outfit. I would also really recommend you to put on that. Then also, you can also put on something like a party dress, yeah? It doesn't matter, you can go with it to church anywhere. Look at that guy, he's an African wear shirt, yeah? That's why today I also decided to put on an African shirt, in fact, because I, I had to be an example, of course. Uh, I, and this is what I want to say, like, African wears always, to me, they look so nice. It does not matter where you're putting on it, whether in an office, but also it depends on how it was styled. Yeah, African wears are always so, so nice. Doesn't care whether you're dark skin, whether you're light skin, whether you're white color, but it can just come through like that. Yeah, that is uh, what I had for you on my fashion today. Yeah, so I also decided to put on uh, a, a black, yeah, a black African wear. Last Saturday, I was on a white one, but I'm not becoming the African wear guy all the time. But just, uh, you know, you, you wake up and you be like, I want to plug on this, I want to plug on this one here. That is what I had for you on the fashion today, yeah. And of course, I also want to remind you guys, if you have just tuned in right now, you're watching Rico TV, and this is the What's On Show, the number one teen show. Yeah, today the studio looking large, like I'm alone. Florence Dream is not around. But she'll be with us next time right here. Of course, always after this show, there is always the ladies' chat. That is uh, Urban Square. And then the Big Bang show, the best entertainment show you should always catch up with. And then other shows will come, sports, indignance with, and the rest. Yeah, just make sure you're locked right there. Now, today, uh, like on our health, on uh, what's on health today, I decided normally people ask questions, especially concerning houses. I'm very surprised that even uh, young people, uh, even bigger people, even just teens, youth, always suffer from this, this disease here. It's so common. It is over-talked. People talk about it. I have ulcers. I have ulcers. I can't eat this because I have ulcers. I can't do this because I have ulcers. Now today I bring you, I, I want us to go slow. I bring you the best food you can eat to prevent ulcers. Prevention is better than cure, yeah. It's not to, to heal it, but to prevent ulcers, yeah. And I want us to go slow, yeah. Now, these are the best food, uh, like the best foods to prevent ulcers, yeah. The first one is honey. Uh, everybody who, is, many people out there always neglect themselves to buy hon like honey. Honey is not just, by the honey is one of the super, food like uh, you can use it uh, you can use it as a medicine like if you have a, a, like a bun something like that yeah we can roll you can roll it when you have like a bun uh, you can also use honey and also like for ulcers many of you did not know that honey can really help you prevent ulcers in one way or the other now modern medic modern medicines as a final quote on to fog the remedy that's being used to, uh, like, uh, in fact, let me say, uh, this research, they, like, the, the, the scientists came with it, that was in New Zealand, and they, they, they realized, like, uh, honey can really prevent or slow your, your like, your pressure or on, on ulcers or the, the, the activeness of your ulcers, yeah. And then, uh, as we move next still, 
uh, or, or still on the foods that you can use to prevent ulcers, we still have, um, we still have, uh, uh, that, that is actually, that food is normally eaten by, uh, by Italians, it's normally eaten by the French, yeah. I don't know why for us Ugandans we, we tend to neglect it. Yeah, you can roll it, please. You can roll it, please. Uh, we, we tend to neglect such foods, but they are really super healthy. They're called bro broccoli, yeah. They're from Brazil. Now, Brazil, that is Russia, where it's more like most consumed from, yeah. And still, as we move on, on uh, the foods that we can eat to control ulcers, uh, my producer over there, please let's move chop chop, yeah. And of course, uh, still on the foods that you can eat to prevent ulcers, we also have cabbages. Many guys fear to eat cabbage. I have to say this one here, but it helps to eat ulcers. You can eat it at a side dish, yeah? Uh, these are the things, that, let me say, free medicines that you can eat to prevent ulcers, yeah? So cabbage also can help you to prevent ulcers, yeah? And as we move to, uh, we also have uh, foods like... Um, uh, this one is what many girls love, many kids love, yogurt. Yogurt, you know, ulcers burns you. And yogurt seems to be cold, like super cold. So it cools your heart and it really helps you to prevent ulcers. But don't, of course, don't consume it every time. But uh, at least have it in a week, maybe thrice, yeah, thrice or four times, something like that. And then, of course, uh, and now this one. And uh, now this one is a plantain, plantain like it can be uh, potatoes, Irish potatoes as well can help you. Though some people, they'll be like, I can't eat potatoes, how, like it burns me, brings me ulcers. But no, it depends on how you cook it, yeah? Of course, don't eat these ones that come with that gas that goes back and burns your heart, yeah? And then of course, vegetables like fruits, vegetables, whole grain and other foods, High in fire can prevent ulcers. Yeah, I don't know if you knew that one there, but of course also vegetables, fruits, I'm talking about oranges, mangoes, pineapples, what can help you prevent ulcers. And then finally, we also have slippery elm tea, can also help you uh, to prevent ulcers. For example, this one, th this can be the tea. I, I don't know if many guys out there mix honey in their tea and then it brings that slippery flavor. It helps you to prevent ulcers. Or if you mix in uh, uh, lemons, uh, then coffee, it brings you, even just the smell alone is, an, is so nice and helps you to prevent ulcers. So maybe next time I'll bring you what really causes ulcers, yeah? Instead of you crying, I can't do this because of ulcers, I can't do this because of ulcers, no. It's not like that, yeah. So that's what I had for you on the health sector today. What's on health, yeah. Yeah, and then of course, uh, now as I move on this one here, this is always a segment that I love so, so much. I don't know uh, whether we are aware about everything that always happens to us or everything that we always do. I'm not sure about that one. That, that's why we bring you the things that literally you did not know, but are really facts and are true, yeah. And maybe you even knew them, but you did not have an idea of how it came about, something like that, yeah. And of course, starting with this, always when it comes to this, did you know moment, like our guys will be like, man, that's the segment I, I always wait for. Like, that's the segment I always wait for. So number one, um, uh, first of all, uh, we've been bringing you a lot of things about babies, puppies, words, plantations, culture, uh, nature, and the rest, yeah? I don't know if my producer can go us through this, like, uh, these are the things that you really did not know, but are actually true. Uh, sometimes the bad things that happen to our lives put us directly on the path to the best things that will ever happen to us. I don't know if you understand this one. I don't know, but it's it simply, it's just like a, the bad things tend to work as our lessons that will make us maybe make corrections on what we do so that we improve on our, on, on our things that we do. Yeah. Then the eye of an ostrich is larger than its brain. Did you know that 
the eye of an ostrich is larger than its brain. Now imagine how small is the brain of an ostrich, yeah? So this one, scientists have really proven it. Then now, finally, the word 21 characters has 21 characters. It's funny, but quote me well. The word 21 characters has 21 characters. If you can take a screenshot and then you count the characters that are like in 21 characters, the word 21 characters has 21 characters. You can count it, you can take time to count it. Of course, characters, you count about the spaces, the words, everything in it, yeah? So that is uh, actually what you did not know. It looks funny, but uh, it's important for you to know, yeah. So actually, uh, that is what I had for you. We would always compile a lot of information for you guys, but just because of time, we have to make sure we bring you in bits, yeah. It's the What's On Show. My name is Rixel MC. This is Rico TV, your number one TV station. And of course, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, before even I go for a break, I want to say I don't want to forget to wish you guys a happy festive season. Enjoy responsibly. I always say that. In our second segment, have an amazing guest and she'll be sharing with us uh what really chris uh, like uh, this festive season means uh what have, like what's the biggest day in the year according to her and of course according to you always feel free to join the conversation we shall be opening our studio lines that is on 0200923257 we shall open our lines later on but right about now i want to take you through our song number three and of course when we come back a lot will be right there keep it locked rico tv my name is rixel mc what's on we'll be right back right over now Zulanda, Zulanda, Zulanda boy, boy. Of course, that guy disappeared. That is alongside Jane Murray. Zulanda first of all disappeared, but I realized uh, when I uh, was here a few days back, it was like he got some problems. I think he got some dislocations like that. And then now he's fit, yeah. That is Zulanda. Young girls are playing on our song number two, yeah. Always this show, we bring in the top trending three songs yeah and of course number three we had a beautiful song from palazzo and now number two zulanda i don't know which one is gonna be number one i don't know maybe you guys are going to try to predict here right away my name is Rixel MC, MC Rixel right away. Welcome back from the short break. Of course, you're still tuned to Rico TV. This is the What's On Show, W-A-T-S-R-N. Uh, of course, when it comes to Saturday from 9 to 10, always make sure you're locked to your favorite channel, Rico TV. You can also get us on our Facebook page, Rico TV Uganda, or if possible, you can reach where we are. That is Chira Road, Plot 47, Rico TV, in case of any business. Yeah, always we are here for you. And of course, just like I told before we went for the break i was like in this amazing segment uh, i decided to bring for you a teenager and of course uh, i want to understand from teenagers what they really understand by the word uh, christmas it's the most trending right now there is nothing everybody thinking about apart from christmas even muslims are talking about it then you'll be like why yeah but just like i said like uh, me in this season you know, guys, if you had to spend, like me, I'm, I'm Hassan, I'm a Muslim for now, yeah? And then after Christmas, I'll get back to Rixel. <laughs> so, of course, uh, in the studio, I have a beautiful young lady, and of course, uh, she'll be introducing her name. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine, how are you? How is the morning, first of all? It's cool. How is the holiday? Wow, everything is cool. I told you Christmas, everything is cool. Yeah. So, uh, an introduction, our names, and maybe where you come from, what you do. Um, Romina J. Romina J. Yeah. Wow. I come from Busawala. Busawala. Yeah. Yeah, not political, you guys. When they say Busawala, you start thinking otherwise. <laughs> so, of course, like, a welcome to the show. Thank you. How has been everything? How has been the holiday? I should start from there. Holiday is cool. Wow. 
Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, from the small time you've been in for holidays and the time you used to be at school, which one have you enjoyed at least? School. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. What was so nice about school? Um, I have friends there, but at, at home. It's only relatives. Uh, you know, it's boring. You know, I chat with mom. Um, she's always at her job. Wow. Yeah. She doesn't have time for you. Yeah. But now, get parents. See, parents. See, when you come back, at least call all your kids. You'll be like, all of you first come. I have the sweet, the sweet, the sweet there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, uh, this is the What's On show, the number one teens and youth show always. Uh, we bring different kind of teens, we bring different kind of youth, we discuss a lot of things, different things, uh, depending on what is on, yeah? That's why the show is What's On. So, um, uh, first of all, we are now in this, in this season, this season, this period, or maybe this time. This is a time everybody is talking about. It is the anthem everywhere. Even, uh, even uh, by the way, like through the week, Queen Elizabeth of Britain was also giving a speech and she had to wish the whole world a uh, Merry Christmas. So it really made me to think like, yeah, Merry Christmas is really all over, like it's trending. That one, you don't have to, you don't have to refuse, yeah. So first of all, what do we understand by this? Uh, by this time or this day called Christmas, 25th of December? For me, what I know about Christmas mm. is that day when Jesus was born. When Jesus Christ was born. But how sure are you about that? If I may, I'm sorry, but just <laughs> to ask, like, how sure are you about that? Uh, about that day. Yeah? Because it was written in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was written in the Bible. She yeah. It was written in the Bible, yeah? Yes. Oh my God. Yeah, in fact, you're blessed because they say blessed are those who believe without sin. Yeah, have to believe <laughs> without sin. Yeah. Wow, they just believe the word of the Lord, right? Yes. Okay, so like when we still talk about Christmas, um, imagine, just imagine, it's not real, yeah? Yeah. Assume Christmas does not exist. How do you think people will be? Ah, uh, there will be just like... There will be no more like yeah. any other day. Mm. Will it be boring? Interesting more than this? Oh. Boring, just. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so like when, when it comes to Christmas, what, really, what are we really supposed to do to embrace this day? Just enjoying eating, going to church. Going yeah. to church? Yeah. Seriously? Yes. Ah, I would love to recite that. <laughs> so like enjoying eating, um, going to church, how are you supposed to enjoy when it comes to enjoying? Because enjoying is so loud. Music, like going out, moving oh places. Yeah. I plan to go out on Christmas. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I think I'm coming with you. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so uh, she's, she's talking about enjoying, yeah. And then uh, for me, I, I will, I'll, just, I'll, I'll just love to say that still enjoying is why. Don't just misuse enjoying, like don't make enjoying those meaning. Enjoying means you live today a happy life and tomorrow also you continue in the happy way you get. But not you enjoy to the fullest and you spoil the next day, like it's really so, so bad. So like uh, when it comes to the youth, to the teenagers who are out there, normally on this day is when they bring these weird characters, what you get. Uh, what would you love to tell that person who is watching, might be a teenager, uh, maybe an advice on this day, on this coming day? Uh, what I have to tell them is have to respect that day because it's that day when the Savior was born. So wow. have to behave well, just enjoy your food, go to church. That's all. Don't do Causing chaos. Yes, what? don't do chaos things. Wow. Just like you've heard, even if you ask anybody out there, even if it's the president, they will still tell you, like, enjoy. Uh, me, I normally tell people, go out. Go out, yes. But come back home the way you went out. Yeah, don't yes. come back with scars. You don't have to drink a lot, you know. Not even a lot. You don't have to drink. Yeah, you don't have to drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so actually, before even I go any further, I want to wish all my friends 
Oh my friends, I'm talking about Doreen. You guys, uh, I know you're warming. You'll be like, hey, Richard, are you coming home? My wife. I will see. I'm not yet decided because Christmas is just a day for everyone. Maybe I'm going to draw a calendar. I will start by Adrian's place. I go to Joffe's place. I go to I go to uh, Don's place, right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, still on this one. Normally, uh, uh, when it comes to Christmas, people assume like it's the biggest day yes. in the year. But according to you, what do you think is the biggest day, really? And why do you think like that? Of course, Christmas. Why? Because it's that day when my savior was born. What about first? First, it's a big day, but Christmas is so must. It's, maybe it's big, thinking, but Christmas. I was is thinking better. like uh, first would be the biggest. I know. Okay, uh, Christmas and Easter. Which one is the, the biggest? Christmas is when the Savior was born. Yes. Easter is when he died for you now. Which one, which one is bigger? Still Christmas. Are you sure? Yeah. Because <laughs> uh -huh. if he was not born, you would not die. Yes. But another one would be born. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, okay, what about to you? First, first leave Christmas alone. To you, mm. if Christmas was not there? Uh, I don't know. Your birthday? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, you're not sure about it. Eh? Mm. But to me, I, I, I think I'll rate first because, you see, life is all about uh, the new days we, we, we have, you get. So when it comes to fast, you see, some people even fail to make two days old. They die when they're just one day old. They die when they're just hours. They die before they go to the new year. So I think the first, to me, mm -hmm. I think first will be the greatest because you're unveiling a new year. Yes, I know. Like now we are unveiling the 20, is it 22nd century? Something like that, you get. <laughs> All right, living alone that. Now, our, our first is coming, right? Yeah. And of course, this is the time youths have to concentrate back, bring their minds from holidays. Uh, you mobilize all your minds and wash away all those things and now organize going back for school, yeah? Yes. And then, uh, it always happens in some ways that by the time this time comes, uh, when it reaches this time, some of them are not able to get back to school. Maybe yes. because uh, maybe they messed up, they became pregnant, which is unfortunate. Or maybe some of them did things that annoyed the parents. Then the parents will be like, this year you're going to first stay home. Not because he's wanting, but because what you did forced him to do that, you get. Yes. Yeah. And, and now, now like when it comes to you, like after all this festive season, how is your mind going to be like? Like after, okay, let me put, I assume we are now in second. After this year. Uh, yeah, after this festive season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For me, I just think about next year, school. What are your resolutions next year? Or you don't make resolutions? Mm -hmm. is, it, is it really right for somebody to make resolutions? Mm -hmm. According to you. For me, I don't. Resolutions is like planning, like, that's the simplest word I can use, like, it's like your next plans, yeah? When this year was coming, what, what were those things you were saying that, I must do this, I must do this, I must be this? Next year, I think, what I, I am planning, mm. it's just schooling. Schooling? Yes. Mm -hmm. Booming. <laughs> what do you mean booming? Like booming. Oh my god, it's scary to me. <laughs> First, by the way, I forgot to ask this one. Like, where do you study? Eh? Where do you study? I said here at YMCA. Oh, like, what are you offering? Journalism and mass communication. Wow, as young as you are, why journalism? Like, why? Why did you decide you were like, I want to do journalism? Why didn't you do business, admin? What? No, no. That's your, where you I want, like? I want to be a great presenter. Like everyone, this man say, wow. oh, I want to be like that girl. 
Wow, today we are with a new presenter, right? Yeah. <laughs> you want to be a good presenter? Yes. All right, now I want you to take over. Now you're the one interviewing. <laughs> yeah. You take over for now. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, how are you? I'm all right. Ah, uh, where do you come from? I come from Chireka. Yeah, you're on Record TV yeah. right now. Everyone is watching you. Wow, thank you. <laughs> hey, that was cool. I can, see, I can see your dream is really kind. I wish you the best, in fact. Yeah. And then, still, uh, we're talking about resolutions and the rest, yeah. What, what do you think are those things that hinder or uh, spoil some people from achieving their resolutions or what they had planned? What do you think are these things? What are those things that cause that, uh, that blockade, something like that? Some people give up their dreams mm -hmm. because they are laughed at, you know? Oh. Yes. Mm, someone can tell you, you girl, you can't do this, you can't do that, you know, you can't. You and know, then you yeah? end up giving you up. You end up giving up, like, I can't, I can't do this, I can't wow. do this, um, like this. So, you become lazy in fact. Yes, you become disappointed. You live your bad. dreams. Well, I, actually, I should say this before, before anything. Uh, uh, somebody one day told me that you better lose everyone. You better lose your wife. You better lose your kids. You better lose everyone in your life. You better lose everything you're holding in your life. But never, ever lose hope. Yes. At least in, in every situation, never lose hope. Lose everything, it's okay. Because hope like, keeps us driving, you get. Yeah, so, uh, what, what about like, how can you prevent, stop these people who be like, you know what, you're wasting time, you can't do this, what, what. Okay, what's the best way you can ignore those kind of immoralities? You have to work hard. You have to show them that you can do it. Wow. How do yes. you show them you can do it? By doing what you want to do. Because, for example, me. Mm. My parents, everyone, relatives, they don't want me to do, they didn't want me to do journalism. Oh, my. Yes. And then you were like, no, you guys. No, I want it. I want that. I can do it. Yes, I do practice at home. Uh, you know I'm a great dancer, but they don't want me to oh dance, you know, God. but I show them that I can do it. You can dance? Yes, and then they give me school fees. How old are you? Yes. <laughs> 18. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yes. So like, um, you were like, I want to do this. Yes. Why do you think they were not supporting you to do it? According to your thinking. They think that there is no future in that. Mm. Yes, and I might get. Spoiled. Who are those people who inspire you when it comes to journalism? Probably journalism, like Douglas Ranga oh, and nice. Farida Nakazuwe. Those uh -huh. people. Farida. Yeah. Douglas. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> those. Only those. What about when it comes to internationally, like out of Uganda, probably? Like uh, there is a show on Magic One. Uh, 8 p.m. Yeah. That lady, why is Wendy? Oh, Wendy. Yeah. Wendy, is it Wendy Williams? Something like that. Something like that. Wow, Wendy. Uh, have you heard about Winfred of Opera? She's such a great lady. No, truly. All right. So actually, now these people will inspire us. Like, uh, it's good to be inspired, but it's bad for you to say this person inspires me. And then you remain watching that person because at the end of the day you wake up that you're seated still watching that person. They say dreaming is not bad. Having a dream is good, but after dreaming, wake up. Like every every if you want to achieve every dream, it starts by waking up. And waking up means you have to pull up your stockings and of course look for the best that you can do, yeah? Yes. So now like um there are those kids, oh, there are those guys who have uh, they did UNEB, right? Yeah. And they are now waiting for their results. And I know right now, they're, they're, some of them have even forgotten, like they have not done UNEB yes. because of this season. Yeah. But once it's done, they will be like, wow, this is not the time. Panic comes back. Yes. Uh, what would you think is best
for you to rely on when you're choosing a course or when you're choosing a career that you want to do? First of all, you have to know what you want. Yeah? Even the talent matters. Talent? Yes. What you want to be, what do you dream of? Uh -huh. After knowing what you want? Then, then do that. What do you what want. you want. Yes. But sometimes you may not have capacity to do what you want. Try hard, fight. Even you pray to God. <laughs> pray, you pray. Pray to God. Yes. Do what, know what you want. Do what you want. Yes. Pray to God. Yes. God wow. will help you if you pray. Everything goes well. Wow! 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 Yes. Anyway, that's really amazing. I, actually, I'm happy I've had that from you. Yeah. So then, um, always when these kids, of course, go, they do what they want. Mm. But again, they get spoiled. You get, eh? Yeah. They can get spoiled. For example, you came to do what you want, and then you come to the field and you find the field is a little bit different from how you expected. Yes. How can you avoid those, those, let me say, fluctuations you get? You have to know what you want. Doing what you want, you have to know what you want. If you get to know, then you won't mind other things. You just focus on that. Focusing. Yes. That's why they normally say life is like a camera. You can hold the best camera, but when you put it in poor focus, you will have the worst peak. Yes. And then somebody who has a fake camera can give the best focus and gives the best shot. Yeah. So make sure you use your life well. Your life is like a camera. Use it well. If you're having a best camera, that is you having a best life. You're coming from a best family. Don't misuse all that maybe that they give you. You get yes. Yeah, so as we are winding up, yeah, uh, what would you love to tell the fellow teenagers who are watching right now? What I have to tell them is yeah. just respect the Christmas day. Don't drink. Don't do things which God doesn't want. Yeah. What Stay humble. <laughs> you know them. <laughs> you know what, Stay humble. You know what they do. <laughs> yeah. Stay humble, yes. Being humble is always the best. Yes. I can see you're humble. Yeah, I'm humble. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right. Then maybe send your regards to your family, relatives, and friends. Yeah. I would like to send my dad, mom, uncle, grandma, friends. Wow. Oh. Okay. Actually, uh, that has been uh, your name once more. Romina J. Romina J. Yeah, Romina J. Romina J. Wow, it's a nice name. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's been Romina J. Of course, today I decided to bring her, like, to just to talk to you guys. You know, sometimes they say, even if a small kid beats the, the, the drum, you find big people also shaking. Yeah, so today I decided to bring somebody to try to beat it. They normally say, however much you speak a southern word, nobody should lie you that he didn't pick even one. At least someone has to pick one. There is, of course, there is speaking and living, but there is speaking and swallowing. So let me hope you picked and swallowed it, yeah. So that's been uh, what we had for you this week around. Like we always would love to have much time with you, but because of time, we decided to bring you things in bits, yeah. Just making sure that everything runs on well. But I want to remind you guys, next Saturday happens to be the last Saturday of the year. We are bringing you the what's on fans and they are waiting every time they are texting they are calling they'll be like we are waiting what's the dress code what's the what the what's on team shall be coming next saturday we shall have a lot of guys and then we hear what really several people have to say and now entering to the new year and of course it will be after christmas yeah and of course that's been uh, me right here and of course i want to tell you guys if you've been tuned that you're doing such a great job i have been Ritzel mc and my guest romina j romina j yeah and i want to tell you guys uh, stay safe be careful do the right things in right places at the right time with the right people enjoy responsibly 
uh, Wednesday is a big day. Please respect it. Let it remain a big day, yeah? And of course, until uh, we meet again next time, same time, same station, with the same show, with me, your same host, yeah? Let's go for our song number one. We'll meet again next time. God bless. I'm